Call it a tea party. Occupy Wall Street is going worldwide today, but critics of the movement say it lacks clear goals, a clear focus. They describe the demonstrators as rule breakers who are literally leaving behind a big mess. Joining us now is co-founder of the Tea Party uh, Patriots, Jenny Beth Martin. Jenny, thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. Let's concentrate. This is a worldwide movement, this Occupy movement, but let's concentrate on Washington, D.C. Let's remember what the Tea Party movement in, in, and their rallies looked like in D.C. They had porta potties and they had uh, uh, specific uh, rules to follow. That didn't look like Occupy. Yeah, when we when we protest anywhere, we make sure that we reach out to local law enforcement. We get the proper permits and in the staging and the equipment and the the um, porta potties and the security and first aid that is required when you have an event like this. And our folks are very they're law abiding citizens, and afterwards they respect the property so much that they're making sure it's clean. We don't even have to usually hire 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 teams to clean it up because our volunteers do it on their own. It's much different than the hundreds that have been arrested in New York and the mess that they're leaving behind all around the country. You know, I think that it, it is a lack of focus, too. Don't you think that's one of the big problems? There is a lack of focus with their their messaging. Their in their messaging is kind of all over the place. They're very upset with crony capitalism, and the folks in the Tea Party movement are as well. We've been fighting against this with the stimulus and, and the bailouts for over two years now. So we're glad more people are joining us in this. Right. But it's hard to tell what they want and where they're trying to go. And. <laughs> There is some similarity, I think. I mean, it's people voicing frustration, but Tea Partiers sometimes have been called terrorists, and you get comments from people like Al Sharpton, like this one. Listen. The Tea Party had guns. The Tea Party was spitting on members of Congress. This, these people are not a mob. This is democracy. What do you think about that, Jenny? I think it's absolutely disgraceful that that's how American citizens who are law-abiding citizens have been characterized. The, the comments about spitting on members of Congress, that happened back when supposedly happened back when the health care bill was finally finally passed in Congress and there was a, an award, a reward offered by Andrew Breitbart to find real footage and real coverage of it. It didn't happen. There are no photos, no videos, noth nothing to substantiate it. Yeah. And we've been called terrorists even though we're, we're law-abiding citizens. Mm -hmm. we're, we're not the people who are do, defecating on police cars. Well, yeah. Uh, Jenny, uh, do you see some similarity in the two groups though, Occupy and the Tea Party? I think that across the country, Americans are very frustrated with the way the economy is going, and they want something to change. So in that respect, yes, I think that there is, is a similarity. With the Tea Party, we want to see free markets work. We want the government to quit having so many regulations that prevent businesses, the small businesses especially, from creating mm -hmm. jobs. But we also don't want the government to decide which, which companies are the winners that are too big to fail. Jenny Beth Martin, thank you very much for being with us on this Saturday. I'm sure thank we'll see you. you soon. All right, coming up, if you want to turn that holiday